Today I'm actually in um, Mammoth and we are having like a little snow trip, friends snow trip. It's so early, it's like 7.30. They all woke up to go, but we all stayed up so late last night so I'm so tired. But today I'm gonna be filming a get ready with me and I'm really excited because I'm partnering with Ipsy. So thank you Ipsy for partnering with me on this video. Um, if you guys don't know, Ipsy is a beauty subscription service and every month you get a bag and then you get five personalized products. But yeah, it's really fun. So you get um, five different products every month and this one is the December Glam Bag and I'm gonna show you what's inside and do a little get ready with me with the products. So I told you guys that I'm in Mammoth for a snow trip. So it's so cold here, so my skin's been really dry. Um, but I have this. This came in the glam bag. This is Cake Beauty Heavy Cream Intensive Body Balm. I've already used it once. It's really nice and thick. And it has 20% shea butter, which is really nice and nourishing. I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hands. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells super sweet. <laughs> and then I put some on my elbows too. Cause I be getting dry. For my base, I'm gonna be using this ColourPop concealer. I already put on moisturizer and sunscreen. I'm using my little Joan Day bag to carry all my brushes and stuff. It's actually quite convenient. You guys, I was um when he was in whoa. <laughs> Wenny was in my room last night because we were having a little girls' night while the guys were downstairs um, just hanging out. Because me and Wenny are the only girls on this trip. Um, so we just like came up here, watched Friends, and ate ramen. And I was just talking to her, and I just felt so very happy last night because, I don't know, I just, for so long, I haven't had like a solid group of friends to hang out with. And now... If I wanna take a mammoth trip or just do something, I feel like I always have people I can do that with. I always have people and friends that I really care about and I just haven't had that in so long. So I didn't realize this until last night when I was just hanging out with her. I feel very blessed because I remember talking to you guys late last year, even early this year about how I felt like I was having just really just a lot of issues being alone and not because I moved here and I didn't know anyone and it's so hard to click with people and then you think you click with someone but it feels like they don't like you because they don't want to hang out with you. I'm also a very paranoid person so whenever stuff like that happens I get really butt hurt and I always think the worst like oh they think I'm super annoying or they don't like me. But yeah I'm really happy because I feel like I found a really great group of friends and I just naturally have a good time with them. I don't have to work so hard. Um, anyways, I'm gonna do my eyebrows with Natural Auto Eyebrow from EG Lips. This is in the shade Dark Brown. So Pepper is also on this trip. Um, figured it'd be fun to bring him because he didn't get to see snow at all last year, so. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyes, and in my glam bag, I got this. This is from the Bomb Cosmetics from their Nude Beach Palette, and it's one eyeshadow, and it's called Bootylicious. It's kind of got a plumish, reddish, shimmery color. <laughs> you guys know I'm really bad at colors, but it's really great. I've already tried it. Um, it has a satin texture, and the payoff is really, really good. And I actually have the full-size palette of this at home, and I really, really like it. I think all the shadows are super creamy and really easy to blend. So I noticed you guys really like my darker eye look, so I'm going to try and do that with kind of a daily winter look. So I'm just going to take this on my fingers, just lightly. And then I'm gonna put it all over my lids. I just came in a little closer so you guys could see because I know a lot of you guys come here to watch my uh, mono lid makeup tutorials. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking pretty. I'm just gonna take a clean brush and just blend it out. This is your first time on my channel. I like to blend my eyeshadow on my mono lids um, where the, where my eyelid kind of pushes in right here to, in my eye socket. Figured I just mentioned that for any newcomers. 
I'm also gonna take a little bit of that color I'm gonna put it on my lower lash line. I like to do this because um, it makes my eyes look a little like darker and smokier and I've been really into that look lately. All right, next I'm going to be taking my 3CE palette in Overtake, and I'm going to take this really dark kind of brick reddish brown color, and I'm going to use that to kind of blend on the outer parts of my eyes. I don't really have to do much, though, because the shadow from the palette is really rich and dark, so it's super pretty. I've been watching, I've been getting back into Korean dramas. I told you guys that. I usually have like um, sometimes I watch like a period where I watch anime and then a period where I'm obsessed with K-dramas and I hadn't been watching very much Korean drama because there wasn't very many good ones or intriguing ones out um, most of the summer for me. The show The Smile Has Left Your Eyes came out and then The Last Empress is out and now Encounter or Boyfriend is out. And all of them are, okay, so I already watched The Smile Has Left Your Eyes, and I really liked it, but it's definitely not one of my top favorites. I do recommend it because it is a good drama, but I don't know if I'm just, like, desensitized or to dramas or something, but it just wasn't, I don't know, I didn't really feel any chem a lot of chemistry between the characters, and... And yeah, I don't know how to explain it. It was still really good though. Um, I am watching The Last Empress, which is not, I don't know, I don't think the acting is super amazing in it, but the storyline is interesting enough that I'm gonna keep watching it. And then the last one I'm watching is Encounter or Boyfriend. And I actually do really like this one. I think they have really good chemistry. It's super, super cute. And my twin, Park Polgum, is in it. <laughs> A lot of you guys think that I look like him. I always get that comment all the time. I'm just going to run that same dark color on my lower lash line again. All right, I have this Fenty Beauty eyeliner, and I'm just going to do my eyeliner off camera really quick because it's going to take a long time. Wow, I'm looking pretty, like, colorless. <laughs> um, I'm going to use this Essence Satin Blush. This has been my go-to blush recently because it's just the perfect shade for my skin. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. I'm going to do mascara. So I luckily don't have to curl my eyelashes because I got a lash lift. It's pretty fresh. I got it last week, so it's still doing really well. And I'm going to have a uh, video. Oh, by the way, I'm using the Glossier Lash Slick. But I'm going to do a video on it because I was going to do one the first time I got it. And this is only the second time I've gotten a lash lift. But I lost all the footage. So I did like a little stories highlight on my Instagram. And a lot of you guys asked if I could make a video on it. So I went back, did it again, and I vlogged it. And I'm going to do a little kind of review after one month to show you what it looked like at first and then what it looks like after a month because it's supposed to last around two months. So I really enjoyed my experience last time, so I'm excited to show you guys. Oh, it's so pretty. And it makes doing my makeup when I'm traveling stuff super easy. Okay, I'm gonna highlight my face with this Pacifica Beauty Rainbow Crystals Liquid Mineral Strobe. I haven't used a liquid highlighter in so long, but I used to use these all the time because they're just super easy to blend. Just gonna dab some on my cheekbones and the tip of my nose. So this highlighter is vegan and cruelty-free. Um, all of the products I'm using here are cruelty-free. This highlighter also comes in two shades. The shade I'm using right now is Unicorn. It's really, really pretty. It's so nice and iridescent. Can you guys see? Wow. Wow, this is so freaking pretty. Okay, so for my makeup, the last thing I'm gonna do are my lips, and I have this from Make Beauty. This is their Cream Luminous Lip Gloss in Victoria Plum. You guys know from my lip products video, which you guys really liked, so I'm so happy um, that I've been kinda into lip glosses lately when I used to not be. But anyways, I thought this really pretty plum color would be great for a winter look. So this is a high shine lip gloss and it's very moisturizing, which is good because it's super cold. <laughs> so, wow, this looks so pretty. <laughs> and it doesn't feel heavy or thick at all. It's very, very comfortable. I'm gonna powder my face a little bit right here because I do get a little shiny there. So I'm gonna use my Wowder from Glossier. 
Oh my God, I look crazy. Okay, so my hair was in braids um, after I took a shower last night, so it's still pretty damp. And I obviously wanna dry it because I'm not gonna go out in the cold with wet hair. Um, so I have this. This is the Park Avenue Blowout Balm by r and Co. So this is a blow dry formula, so it protects your hair while you're blow drying it and also gives your hair a little bit more volume. It comes out as a cream like this. And I'm just gonna, oh, I'm definitely gonna need more. My hair's been growing out, so I keep underestimating how much I'm supposed to be using. I'm also using this because it's like a heat protectant. And if my hair, my curls sometimes fall out after braids when I, when it's damp because the the wetness kind of makes it fall. So I'm gonna use this to kind of lift my hair, protect against the heat, because I'm gonna try and straighten it a little bit as well. Or not straighten it, um, style it. So whenever I braid my hair, it gets really straight at the end. So I'm gonna try and curl them a little bit. If this doesn't work out, I might just end up putting my hair up in a bun. Hey, stop scratching the pillow which I still need my hair to be super like fluffy and voluminous for because if I don't, then my buns are kind of, I have Asian hair, so it's really straight. And so whenever I put in a bun, like a bunch of hairs come out like that. I'm pretty sure if you guys have really straight hair, you know what I mean? So if I ever do buns, I like it to be thick like this so I can make it into a thick, sturdy bun. I'm gonna try and curl the tops of my hair a little bit cause it's looking a little, like it's straight and then doo -doo -doo -doo. All right guys, I really tried to make this work, but it's not working. So I'm gonna do this instead. I'm gonna take a little bit of my front bangs out. Ooh, it feels so like voluminous and thick. Perfect. I'm gonna pull a little bit of hair out here for that messy look. You guys, look at this nice and thick sturdy bun. <laughs> oh, yay! Oh, it looks so good. Okay, I'm just gonna fix this a little bit. Jamie's here. Hi. I saved you some eggs. Oh, thank you. You look beautiful. Oh. Wow. Damn, that looks really good. <laughs> Do you guys like my pajamas? <laughs> so, I'm gonna be wearing these jeans. They're super comfy. They're the elastic jeans that I got from Dejo. I wear them all the time now. And I would wear this sweater because it looks really cute, but it's really cold outside, so I think I'm gonna opt for a turtleneck. So I don't know where this turtleneck is from because it was my mom's and I just took it. Just gonna tuck it in a little bit. Looks cute. Okay, and then I have this jacket from Dejo. It's a really nice, thick one. What do you guys think? <laughs> Um, I also brought gloves, some black gloves. I brought a beanie just in case, and then I have this. I actually just got this. Ooh, the tag is still on. This is from Lulu's, and I saw it on their website, and it's so cute! So I wanted to wear a super basic outfit, and then just kind of accent it with a scarf. Then I'm just gonna wear boots, and I'm done! Anyways, guys, um, I'm going to head out now because they're all waiting and I feel bad. Um, but I hope that you guys liked this video. And again, thank you so much to Ipsy for partnering with me on this video. It really means a lot to me and I appreciate Ipsy and especially you guys so much for allowing these kind of opportunities to come to me. I don't know how many times I can say that. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.